So here's the deal. We've been going over boxing techniques and martial arts. And jujitsu and hitting tennis balls. If you haven't seen that video, it's pretty cool. You got you to check it out. All through summer, we've been doing all that kind of stuff, right? We've been sparring. Getting pads, right? Yeah. So what we're going over today is effectively how to be able to break a piece of wood by punching it as a kid. Okay, so he's broken a couple already tonight. Oh, man, right? Oh. So we're gonna break a couple more, but we're gonna break it down and explain. Well, first of all, how many bones are in the hand? 27. 27. Now, when you punch, when I punch, when Landon punches, what knuckles do you want to connect the target with? The front two. The front two, your biggest knuckles, right? So, can you show me your biggest knuckles? These two, these two knuckles right here, that's what you want to be able to either, well, if it's punching a bag, like it's behind this, you wanna punch the bag, or if you're holding, if I'm holding mitts, or if we're sparring, he's gonna use those two knuckles. Because what happens if you use, can you make another fist for me? If you use the two small knuckles, if you hit with those guys, that's what's gonna call, that's what's called a boxer's fracture. And those bones will get pushed back, sometimes like a small, like half inch, or sometimes I've seen them back, where they push it back like a whole inch, the, the two, uh, small knuckles get really pushed back. So we condition a lot, like we do, like he'll hit the bag without wraps slowly just to get the hang of, it's called put knuckles on a bag. So those knuckles will hit the bag and it toughens the hands up, okay? And then, but for the most part, we always wrap his hands and then we put them in, in his gloves. These aren't his gloves, but then where are your gloves at? Well, he actually, these are, those are his old gloves, but we just got him a brand new pair of pro boxing gloves yesterday that he doesn't have here. They're at home, are they at home? Not, yeah, they're at home. They're home. So, but he's staying with his Nana right now, so we didn't bring him today. So, but what we're gonna do is break this down and show you correctly how to break boards, okay? So he's gonna do it. He broke a couple tonight already, and uh, we're gonna do a couple now, and then we'll make a video next week of him breaking two boards at one time. So it's kinda, it's fun. Do you, do you think it's fun? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. And uh, you, have any, you have any techniques or anything you wanna share with everybody, the other kids out there, on how to break boards? Don't die. Don't die? Okay, that's a good one. I, I like that, where your head's at with that one. But just, uh, here's one thing too. When you punch with those two big knuckles, what you wanna do, can you make a fist for me again? Show me. Okay, how his wrist is bent, you don't want your wrist bent. Okay, give me a fist, put this down. Make a fist. Okay, when you punch, you want your wrist, go down like that, as straight as you can. You don't want it bent to the left, you don't want it bent to the right, or up or down, you want it straight as you can. Because the radius, the big bone in your arm is gonna line up right between, behind these two big knuckles right here, okay? And that's what's gonna create a better punch so you don't end up tweaking your wrist or breaking your hand or anything like that. So, and we're gonna show you, this is a kid, we went to, when we went back to the, we went to the store yesterday, yesterday we went, yeah, to yeah. buy the wood. Um, one of the big guys, he's like 260, he's a big old guy. He, he broke four, four boards, right? Yeah. Four boards at one time. So. Oh, oh, wow, you even get devastation. See, that's so we're gonna show you one today, just to get used to showing you how to do this, to break boards. Now, until you get your hands better strengthened, I suggest maybe hitting that heavy bag a little bit, just get used to punching things, because he's already broken a bunch tonight, and his hands are a little bit soft, bruised, whatever, right, when you say? Because yeah. he went, he broke, a, I don't know, two or three fairly easy, or I don't know if it was easy, but his hand went through him, and then his hand was getting a little bit sore and he went to go punch another one, but he didn't put it, use enough force, so when it did, it didn't break and it kind of hurt his hand more. So that's one thing. When you punch the board, make sure you go through it. So don't just try to touch it, but like really go through the board, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So we're going to break that down. I'll get some boards right now and he'll, he'll break those as we speak. But if you have questions, if you have comments, don't hesitate to let us know uh, in the comments below because either I can answer them or Landon can answer them and we'll get back to it. Or if you want to see another video, we can do that, right? Yeah. So for right now, if you didn't know. Now you know. Where's your energy? It's late. It's late right now. He's got to go to school tomorrow. It's like 8 o'clock. He's got to be back at his Nana's in here in a couple minutes. That's why, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do this, right? Okay, high energy. Let's go do this, right? Okay, let's get boards. So here's a board we're going to break for the day. So actually, I'm not breaking it. Landon's going to break it. Now, he right now, he did it earlier with his jab hand, which I was really surprised he was able to do that. A closed fist, he threw the jab, and he broke it. Boom. So if he threw the jab, that's his front hand. Now, the more powerful punch is his backhand, his cross. He threw that and broke it fairly easy. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna break this down. Now it's very important, once again, when you throw this punch, you wanna use your two big knuckles, right? Yeah. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah. Now he's gonna start in his true boxing stance. His hands are here. His hands aren't gonna be down by his waist or anything goofy like that. Like, just like how he's boxing. Straight out, straight back. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. One, two, let's go. Woo! You see, there you go. Now, show me your hand, please. Get close. Now, it might be a little bit red, but there's no, there's no bruising. There's, he didn't break it. Did you break your hand? No. No? See, now his arm and his hand are straight like that. So that radius, that big bone, is straight behind those two bones right there, the big, the, the big knuckles, is how you want to do it. Now, you got some more in you? Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, this one's gonna be a tough one because it's it's smaller, okay? The board's smaller. Okay, ready? You better do this good because we're on camera. Do this, ready, set, go. Oh, that one hurt a little bit? No. No? Okay. Now, you think you should do another one? You wanna do sure. another one? Okay. We got one more left, one more left. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do two. Okay, so, you good for this? Yeah. What chain are you gonna punch with? I mean the cross. The cross, okay, and once again, because that cross has more power, if here's your jab hand, it's gonna be closer, so you don't get to generate that much power. But that back hand, if you really throw it into it, they'll get it. You good for this? Yeah. Okay, all right. Now notice he's in his boxing stance, his true boxing stance. Okay, here we go. Right side. Go. Oh, good job. So he's breaking boards like crazy. Now, as the board gets smaller, it gets a little bit more difficult. Actually, it gets a lot more difficult. So here's what we're gonna do. This one's pretty much small. So it's gonna be difficult for your hand to fit in there. Okay? Do you wanna do it? You think you can handle it? See, now he's confident because he's breaking boards like nobody's business. You ready for this? Yeah. What hand are you gonna use? I'm gonna use the jab on cross again. The cross hand, so he's gonna use his back hand. Do you have any tips you wanna give anybody for out there doing this? Oh, here's one too. When you punch the wood, you want to make sure your hand's really tight. Don't have it loose, okay? Make sure your hand's really tight, right? Yeah. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Right here. So we're going to set. And then I'm cutting my hands all up. Line it up. Ah! 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 Okay, no, stand on the side, okay. So, that was our wood breaking tip for the day, is make sure your hand is tight, and you use your two big knuckles, where are two big knuckles? Or two big knuckles right here, and don't let your wrist be bent at all when you're punching, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's one, and uh, you got any more techniques? No. No, okay. So if you have questions, comments, please let us know, and, uh, and we'll break some more boards. But until then, for right now, if you didn't know. Now you know. Oh, you're gonna do better than that. Come on. So, for right now, if you didn't know. Now you know. No point, use your finger, point. Okay, now ready? You know. Now you have it. So, for right now, if you didn't know. Now you know. <laughs> Good boy. So, here's the clip that we didn't put in, that we're putting in now. Because this, this piece of wood's smaller, so we're gonna. I'm, I'm kind of scratching my head about this one if he can actually break this one. You're confident? Yeah. Okay, it's not. Okay, he's confident. We're gonna break this one. You ready? Yeah. Fourth punch, your cross? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, good job. Good. He even broke the small piece. So, you have questions, you have comments, let us know.
But for right now, if you didn't know, now you know.